Hi, I'm Ryan from Sea to Summit, and I'm going to be showing you the quick and easy way to set up an Alto tent. The first thing you're going to want to do before setting up your tent is find a good location. That's going to be one that is flat, free of debris, and has adequate drainage. Next, you're going to want to organize yourself uh, before setting up. So for Sea to Summit tents, what we've done is we've actually created this fair share storage system where we actually have separated out the rainfly, uh, the tent body itself, the tent poles, and the pegs. This allows you to quickly and easy start setting up the tent. Once you've rolled out your tent, uh, the next thing to do is stake out the corners. So I'll go to each corner, stake them out, and I usually will leave a lot of extra line here so I can tension it later. And what I usually do as well is when I'm going to actually orient my tent, I'll look at the prevailing wind and put my foot area of the tent into where I think that wind is going to be coming out of. So then I attach the, the, the corners uh, and I'll bring in this central one right here. Once I have the, the tent all staked out, uh, the next thing to do is actually get the poles out of the bag and then carefully um, insert the pole ends together, being careful not to let them all snap together. And what you want to do is make sure that each tent end seats completely into the ferrule. Okay. Once I've done that, I'll orient the, the tent frame so that the color-coded ends match up to the color coding on the, the tent body itself. So then I'll come along and I will actually then snap the pole ends into the, the feet here, nice and securely, and insert the final one here. Once I've got the frame set up, I want to make sure that the actual tension ridge pole is facing upwards. Then I can find the central H clip, which is going to be highlighted in blue, and I can snap that on. Once I do that, the next thing that I do is I actually attach the loops here to the end of the tension ridge pole on these clips, like so. Once that's on, I'm free really quick and easily just to snap the remaining pole clips onto the frame from the tent body. Okay, once your tent is up, this is a good time to go through to the corners and just tension things down lightly and evenly. The goal is to have a floor with as minimal creases as you can have as possible. The next step is to set up the rain fly itself. So the first thing you want to do is orient the rain fly so that you can actually match up the color coding on the tension ridge pockets to stretch across the top. So this is a blue end, matches up with the blue, and you sink that pole in there into the pocket. And then you do the same here on this end of the tension ridge. So once that tension ridge is in place, like so, then what you want to do is you want to attach some of the Velcro on the inside of the rain fly. So there being two here at the head end, and you attach these around uh, the poles themselves. This will anchor the rain fly to the actual pole structure itself. So two down there and three over here. So once you have the, the Velcro attached, what you want to do is just make sure that the seams are lined up on the, the rain fly over the actual tent frame itself. And then what you want to do is clip in the fly feet uh, to the matching color coded ends right here. So blue to blue, and then we'll come around and do the other end. So I'll attach the center pole here, and then I'll move out and actually attach these ends, uh, these adjustable loops here to the, to the stakes of the corners. Now, once you've actually attached these stakes, you're going to want to attach out the vestibule. That's your next step. So we use adjustable, uh, adjustable loops here. So in case you actually have a, a stake here that you need to move around, you can. These will accommodate for that. But I have a tendency to loosen these up as much as possible. So later on, I can go back and tension them as I need to. Once the rain fly is on, now what you want to do is actually tension the, the flies down. So I will go around and I will first do the pole ends 
and I want to make sure that these are all tensioned evenly. Just a little bit of a tension on these, just to make sure it's quite even. Okay, once your rain fly is all set up, your last step is to actually guide the tent fly out. We've provided uh, the tent with these ground control guy lines, which actually are completely movable and adjustable and reflective. So it's important to actually do these in three locations. So you wanna do them one at the head and two at the foot. So I'll walk you through that. It's really simple. You actually just slide this little boomerang toggle through the, the loop on the fly, and you can bring it down to the actual stake right there. You can fully adjust these as you want, loosen them or tighten them, and then the same at the other end of the tent. Okay, that is the quick and easy way to set up an alto tent from sea to summit.